Concerns about the safety of the uh, sturgeon spearing season. Local 5's Timothy Lateau tells us why the melting ice is bringing spearing expectations down to earth. It's arguably one of the busiest weekends of the year for Lake Winnebago. Cars and ice shanties normally dotting the ice-covered lake, but this year, total opposite. But this one being as warm as it is has definitely made um, and is definitely an anomaly. The ice continues to melt with above freezing temperatures, and the DNR says that that will keep some spears away and make a 16-week season more likely. As of right now, we're probably looking at a full 16 days for both seasons. In addition, there's a slightly higher cap across the board for sturgeon, with about a dozen more males and adult females allowed. It's just based on the, uh, the population values, and this year, based on kind of just natural variation, there was a slight increase. Um, it's, it's a calculation over a five-year average. While the DNR has been carefully monitoring population numbers, water clarity has not been something it's been able to provide. With ice conditions the way they were, um, we just didn't go out. The ice hasn't been safe enough for employees to venture out on, but they still have general knowledge of conditions. The ice conditions have made uh, doing our regular water clarity checks um, difficult this year, uh, but I have been checking with uh, you know groups and things like that, and it seems like there are decent areas around the lake that have pretty clear waters. Clarity is steady now, but that can all wash away. It can change pretty quickly throughout this system, so um, trying to predict that is pretty difficult. On Lake Winnebago, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. And another note to you from Timothy, the DNR says it is safest to leave trucks, shanties, and ATVs on land.